Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. This is Abba Wagensberg. In our portion of Vayechi, it concludes the book of Genesis. At the end of this story, Yaakov Avinu gives blessings to all of his sons. But there are two people that are singled out, which are given special attention, and they are Ephraim and Menashe, which are actually Yosef's children. No other of Yaakov's grandchildren received blessings from Yaakov directly. Only Yosef's children, Ephraim and Menashe, received blessings from Yaakov directly. There are two reasons why Ephraim and Menashe were singled out. First of all, Ephraim and Menashe, although they were Yaakov's grandchildren, they went against the grain and took on the status of actual shvatim, of actual tribes. We don't find that by any of the other tribes' children. In other words, Reuven's children are not tribes unto themselves. They're part of Reuven. Yehuda's children, Peretz and Zorach, are not tribes of their own. They're part of the tribe of Yehuda. When it comes to Yosef, his two sons, Ephraim and Menashe, are not just part of the tribe of Yosef, but they take on a status unto themselves. And that's why they received a direct blessing from Yaakov, because they went against the grain. Even though there's a common idea of Yeridas Hadoros, where generations can continue to go down, they defied the odds and they went backwards. There was a special bracha given to them just for that, the level of righteousness that they achieved going against the grain. There's another reason why they were singled out for blessings by Yaakov, of all of Yaakov's grandchildren, and that's because we don't find any jealousy between the two of them. Even though Menashe was the older of the two, and Ephraim was the younger, Yaakov paid greater importance to Ephraim over Menashe. And yet we never found and never find any type of jealousy going on between the Menashe-Ephraim relationship. That wasn't the case necessarily when it came to the brothers with Yosef when Yaakov showed favoritism to Yosef HaTzadik. And therefore, because of that, a special bracha was given to Ephraim and Menashe because they rid themselves of that jealousy. And who knows? Maybe it's because of that itself that they deserved to go against the grain and become tribes unto themselves. This is is why we bless our children typically and traditionally on Friday nights that they should be like Ephraim and Menashe. I found in the Ibn Ezra that even daughters should be blessed like Ephraim and Menashe. We may bless them as well as like the matriarchs, but on top of that, they should also be blessed like Ephraim and Menashe. In other words, we want all of our children to adopt the same traits as Ephraim and Menashe, to rid ourselves of jealousy and hopefully go against the grain, that although the generations are going down, our children should go against and swim up that tide and be even greater than their parents. That's, the, of course, the hope of every true parent to see See their children grow even greater than themselves. Well, everybody, we should all be blessed, like Ephraim and Menashe, our families, our children, everybody, that we should also be able to rid ourselves of the jealousy and go against the grain. Although we see around us the generations are falling, we should be the exceptions and swim against the tide and hopefully reach tremendous heights and greet the Messiah, building of the base of Migdash, the return to Eretz Yisrael, and of course experience a world of peace and harmony. Thanks for joining me. This has been Abu Wagensberg.